All right, boys. So today I will explain counter strafing. Uh, how does it work? A lot of you guys are asking for it. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm gonna hop into a custom game right now. So when it comes to counter strafing, there's three things. Three. Yeah, three things that you, you gotta pay attention to. First, what I explain here, a lot of pros, even pros, uh, sometimes they don't wanna tell about it because it's kind of way of a way to like abuse the system in the game. Because this game, you can like abuse certain things that in other games you can't. For example, CSGO, you cannot abuse movements like shooting and gunning, like running and gunning type shit. In this game, you can. So, one thing that always happens here, let's say you're like a gold player and you're playing versus other golds. Normally, around this level, golds don't really control the recoil much which like kind of like this but controlling the recoil in this game i think is a, it's not super useful because the recoil is super random right so at the end of the day what you want to do in this game is to play bursting so when it comes to csgo for example if i'm gonna open an angle like here right here. if i know there's a guy here and see if we were csgo i would do like this like i'll try to use the movement until i i reach the max speed of the character and this is something that it happens here as well in Valorant, but it's kind of different, which I will explain. So let's say you're here and you want to open this angle. If you do, if you're super close to the wall and do like this, you're not going to be as fast in the enemy screen than if you come from here to here like this, because it's two different speeds. Because for example, for you to achieve the maximum speed in Valorant of your character, you got to do like, let me, let me show you. Okay, this is the max speed. So from here to here, this is for you to achieve the max speed, you gotta walk this. So when you're trying to open an angle in your mind, try to always think, okay, is this angle, I'll be in my max speed before I open the angle? Because sometimes a lot of you guys die holding an angle in this in this game because a lot of people abuse this and they don't even tell no one because it's definitely something that a lot of Radiants abuse and, and, and pros when they play. If you notice pros, when they hold the angles, they're always like this, always moving. This is a way to communicate with the server like you send the information all the time to the server and there's more information you send to the server the best will be for you to react to what's going on i know it's hard to understand but trust me it works so if you're gonna open an angle like this instead of doing like a lot of people do this like they come here and then they do this like you're not in your max speed but if you do like this like i don't know you came here bang so there's nothing like this is your like a red zone like when you get to here it's like a red zone because there's like two angles that uh, can pick first this is the angle and this angle over here but if you clear and chill here in solo one what you, you should do is like come back and bang open full speed over here and instead like stopping like it would be in csgo instead of stopping you could do like this like open it and abuse this the movement which is the strafing which we're going to talk about in the future here. so another thing for example i normally hold uh lamps on bind and I'm a very good lamp player, but like it's really hard for me to die here. The only time I die here is when there's like a brimstone ult that I gotta give lamps, or if a raise ult and try to ult me here. And even when a raise has a shotgun, what I normally like to do is just to hold like this angle over here, like an off angle, or stay like here. And when I hear the the raise jumping around, I literally op open full speed because if I'm full speed. It's gonna be harder for him to like hit me with the shotgun and i can try to get the headshot but you only do this if you trust your aim like you really gotta trust your aim to do this and the same thing is valid for this position so let's say you want to hold here right a lot of people do this like aim over here wait for someone to pick in the box uh and let's say they're oh, they're opening the angles here like if you open like this it's gonna be almost 100 percent sure that someone is holding you but normally they don't hold here, here. this angle over here they hold from here, here. A lot of players like like neuro players do this if you're playing radiance a lot of radiance they tend to be like over here, here. in a off angle position this is a very common thing in, in radiant or immortal type thing so if you're dealing with this the best thing you can do is to imagine the off angles in your head so let's say you want to retake lamps you don't have flash you don't have nothing like the best thing would be like pre-firing with this angle over here which is like kind of obvious that he could someone could be the second angle that a lot of people will think about would be this one but that's not what i normally do what i normally do is like pre fire this and then this because this is another off angle if you prefer it here the chances that you get a kill is pretty high like of course you're just like theory crafting over here but the chances of there's be someone like doing this over here is like really high specifically in, in high ranks and let's say if you're like immortal wonder and if you use this angle over here like this like walking uh, back and forth trying to get your speed to the 
max you're definitely going to be able to like shoot like this because one thing that a lot of people don't explain when it comes to like strafe and shooting is that if you walk more than like from here to here like let's say i'm walking from he here to here look how the bullets are going straight like it's kind of it's kind of going the same spot you see like this is enough to kill someone but if you walk from here to here it's going to be harder because the timing of the correction the window of opportunity that you get if you press d and then press a there's a window of opportunity there where you can shoot two bullets straight with the phantom or sometimes the vendor depending on the like the range where you can abuse so that's that's what a lot of people don't understand like if you if you walk like from here to here and try to shoot like it was correct but sometimes it doesn't because like if you don't get like the the timing the the window of opportunity you're gonna miss the shot so if, if i'm walking like this see one here one here but if i'm walking like this Look at this it's like almost like it's almost like correct like all of them like it's look at this it's, it's kind of you can kind of abuse this a lot a lot of people don't explain that because i don't know if people don't really think about it or if they just want don't want you guys to know but it's a way to abuse the system the, the way this game was uh, made right um another thing about strafing if you're doing just this if i'm doing just this like walking from here to here i'm not achieving my max speed of the character so the bullets are going to go same place look like i can stay here all day like doing this and sometimes because you're doing too much like if you shot like like if you do like super quick like this you can do it twice because if you do the third time you're probably gonna miss so you see the bullets start going like all over the place but if you do it twice look at this like you can kind of abuse the movements and the bullets are going in the same spot and you, you're kind of using your movements against the other person aim so that's the way to abuse this i never saw someone explaining that detail like that many details uh, when it comes to strafe and shooting so i think that's a good way to practice and the best way to practice this would be i don't know you go to the range and literally try to do like this try to go go close distance like this super close and stay like this for a few hours of course if you really want to learn say like this are 30 minutes like this i don't know because there's the timing and if you don't make your brain understand the timing like you're gonna be like in the game not understand the way but i was practicing this and it was working now i'm in the game it's not working there's a reason for it like if you're in the game and you're not super focused and let's say you want to open the aim here like instead of opening like this and stopping what you could do is like literally do like this like the bullets are going kind of straight see see how i missed over that because i lost the timing of it because i was like walking more than i should but if you like do like this and come back you can kind of get the, the shots in the same spot like this it's hard to apply in a live game because there are so many things happening a lot a lot of people like including me like you with tunnel vision in the fight and this is very bad but if you if you're able to like focus only on your aim is is definitely like it definitely pays off like a hundred percent sometimes if you think with yourself okay i'm gonna strafe just in the range that i can make sure that my bullets are gonna go straight which is the, the here from here like this is the range this is literally what it is so you go here and you cannot shoot super quick so if you're, if you're gonna shoot like always try to do like a one two and then walk one two walk. because when you do one two and then walk a little bit you're not only gonna take the enemy's aim off of your head because normally what people think is gonna be oh it's gonna be back and forth nice at least in, in radiant a lot of radiance it is it's just gonna expect that you're gonna be oh back and forth back and forth back and forth which is not the case if you want to level up this the strafing thing so you do like this one two one two one two. because if you do like this you're gonna be like this in the screen which is kind of annoying to deal with. Uh, other thing is like, for example, when you watch those, uh, I'm not going to call them shitty tutorials or anything like this, but like they always say, oh, just aim at hell level. Like when the like skill cap, this, those uh, tutorials, of course, you got to aim at hell level, but like they don't tell you to like imagine the angles where the enemy could be. And instead just like opening like this and stopping, like you could open like, let's say there's a guy like up here, yeah. right? You could open like, they, they're going to tell, oh, let, open like this, stop and shoot. Okay, that's a way. But if you know the angle, you can do like this like uh, you're literally shooting straight like in this angle and walking at the same time and a lot i see a lot of like players under immortal under uh, gold under like plat uh not really doing this or either either they try to do it but it's kind of all over the place because they don't have like the time so the, the correct time look at this like this is not correct at all i mean the bullets are gonna see how it is easy because the bullets are kind of going straight and i'm doing wrong like i'm not even the timing there's so many room to mistake when you do this look at this 
There's so many room to mistake. It's crazy. But if the enemy is close, if the enemy is close, it's a different story. Like, uh, I never, I almost never crouch. Uh, but if I'm gonna open an angle where the enemy is kind of like super close here, for example, let's say there's an enemy with a shotgun here, then it's good to like do like this, like trying to go with your full speed and crouch. Like, try to imagine where the, the, the enemy is gonna be. Try to go from here to here and not from here to here. Because if I go from here to here, I'm not gonna be as fast as I could. But if I go from here to here, it's gonna be a different story. It's never good to hug the wall in this game, but when it when it comes to like open angles, like they're super close, like it's definitely like one thing that you can do. Another thing I saw uh, a few players doing is like this, like just to hold this, like this, because this is a way to not get flashed. And if an omen flash, you're gonna be super close and you can peek. And if a sky flash is not gonna blind you and you can peek. And normally when you peek like this, like super close to the wall in full speed, it's harder to kill than if you stay here or if you stay here and then peek like this, you know? I don't know if you guys understand what I mean, but that's kind of the, the idea behind it. And a lot of uh, people, they tend to do this, which is for example, let's say the head is like the eye of the fish over here, right? A lot of people do this. Like, this is just dumb. You don't need to do this. Like, because first of all, if you do this, your movement is going to be slower than if you do this. Like, if you put your crosshair here and then peek and like, like this, you're going to be faster in the enemy screen than if you do this. Because there's like, imagine if you're doing this, you're kind of walking like this, like in a circle, like kind of like this. I don't know if you guys understand what I mean. But if you do this, like, like this, this is literally straight line. The best guy, in my opinion, that does this well is uh, Super Rosa. If you're gonna watch Super Rosa, bro, that guy is insane. Like legit, he's incredible. I, I feel like he's the best person to watch. Like when he's playing tournaments and stuff like this, I don't know if there's like a Super Rosa highlight over there, but when he's playing, like, let's say he want to open an angle, he understands everything. Like he knows the angle, he knows the head level, he knows that he needs to be full speed and he knows the window of opportunity where he needs to strafe. So if you know those four things, you're set because if there's a guy here and you do this, bro, like you either gonna, he gonna, you're going to throw him off like, bro, what the hell? This guy, like he's already shooting at me. You're going to back up and you're going to have the window opportunity to like get to side and try to open the side. Um, but of course, it's just your crafting over here. But it's that's kind of the way it is, you know, like, let's say you want to go uh, take control of hookah, right? There's no drone. There's no spot and there's no flash mix. You're by yourself. A lot of players do this. Like they do like this and they try to walk like this. First, one of the worst things you can do in this game is to walk like this, where you're pressing D and W at the same time. This is terrible because first, even if you're walking like this, your movement is not going to be... Look look how crazy it is. If I walk like this, my movement is not as fast as if I walk like this. So that's that's why it's so bad uh, to walk using uh, holding W and A at the same time. It's a very bad idea. Like if even even backwards is bad because even if you walk like this for you to get the shot correct like if i'm holding w and a right I'm, now i'm gonna press i'm gonna press d to try to shoot like see the bullets go go completely wrong now if i walk like this like if, if i want to do it correct if i walk like this look at the bullets over there so that that was the bullets walking like with the w and d or w and a and that was the bullets walking like only with the d or only with the a a lot of people just talk about uh, crosshair placement, which is definitely something important, but let's say you want to peek long. If you, you go, if you go from here to long, like this, you did noise, right? Look, I'm going to do noise. But there's the silent step in this game, which is the range that you can peek without making noise, which is super, super useful. So if you want to peek, if you, you kind of know they're pushing long and you like want to get like a free kill, like instantly, you do like this without doing noise. Like, look, I'm not even going to make noise. Look, now I'm going to do noise. You can kind of, you can kind of um, abuse this in a lot of situations, a ton of them, because when you like, when you uh, ho are holding something, like the chances of you getting a Q if you do this with no noise is super big, unless the person is over like over here holding you. But even if the person is there, you can do this, get a Q and go back without doing noise. And one thing in this game that a lot of people don't pay attention is like, if they're making noise, of course it's gonna be easier to kill them. Like when you go to a death match, it's super easy to get kills in a death match. If you like have the full sound on because you kind of expect oh, oh he's making a lot of noise okay he's gonna he's gonna open here then if there's a guy holding this angle he doesn't know if i'm gonna do this like this making noise or if i'm 
I, I could literally do this like I, I can go close here to clean this angle bang get this skill and e back i don't know this is a way that a lot of players don't understand in those lower levels like um not lower levels but like diamond even diamonds like even immortal sometimes they don't understand this sometimes so yeah that's the way it is i hope you guys understood that's what i could explain to you guys if you guys are watching this on youtube if you subscribe means a lot and i'll see you guys in the next one you can chat here you know what to do like the video subscribe and go watch more giga out